my name is Paul, welcome back to the Sly Cooper HD Collection, and last time, we pretty much finished off, I think, the reconnaissance mission, so now, I did a bit of farming, as you guys can see, and I got a lot of these objects, look at these, I got some of the rares that you can now only get if you didn't get hit and run your way back to the safe house, so, I didn't know this before, but if you fail and get hit while running with one of these things, they'll respawn right back to its pedestal, so you want to take that into consideration, and I'm going to sell all of this, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to buy all the new equipment and moves you can see here, because this is like nearly seven to 10,000, so we'll see, we don't need them all right away, we can get them in the next level as well, so... Let's just sell all the see what we got. Ah! Damn. Whew, that's a lot. Okay, so some people told me the Berserker Charge was better than the Raging Inferno flop. Um, or it was the other way around. I'm not really sure, so I'm gonna buy Thief Reflexes, the Health Extractor, or Adrenaline Burst. Raging flop. And I guess... Berserker Charge as well. <laughs> Pink fire flop, nice. And then this. So we're only two away from finishing this entire list. We can get that probably before the end of this area. Now, there's three missions out here, I believe. Yes, two for Sly and one for Murray. And we're gonna head over here to Murray's. Let me just see what I got here. Anybody? I hate these cards. In this area, some of them are pretty damn cheap, but three out of every four of them would have an item for you to steal. So I pretty much farmed there for about half an hour. You guys could have went a little bit longer, probably. But once you do that, it's pretty much... It's like an, ah! Calm down, calm down, calm down! Oh, get away, get away, get away! And... <laughs> I gotta point out this bear, this bear. Wait, 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 let me just get up here real quick. Oh, God. Whoa. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great! I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul! It was awesome! Okay, so, look at this bear. This game is full of animals, and I'm glad you guys pointed this out in the comments. The game is full of animals, yet the wild bear remains to be wild and dangerous while it tears up everything in front in our way. Let me just... EAT THIS! <laughs> Whoa! Easy there, buddy, easy there. Back off. Back off. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So I thought. So I pop you in the face. And physics. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That ice almost shattered beneath my weight. Why does he have stars coming out of him? Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna go in. That damn bear. Doesn't make any sense, does it? What do we have here? Those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moose head should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. The logic in this. I can kick every one of their asses right now, but the logic. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Okay, so as you guys can see, they're just standing around guarding one another's behinds. I think you can steal from them, but I wouldn't steal from them right away because... One of the best things I was using to steal from people was the alarm. I think it was... No, not the alarm clock. That's a bad one. The snooze bomb, whatever it was, for Sly. Because when you use that, it'll pretty much knock everybody out. And it takes about the same amount... Well... The same amount of energy it would for... Oh, if you step on any of these bottles, I'll alert this guy. It'll take the same amount it would for the smoke bomb, so you might want to just take that into consideration. Now you want to swing across each one of these things without getting hit, because you might attract some unwanted attention. Swing, Paul, swing. Damn. There we go. That's a real swing. We got a swing going on. Wait for this to spin. You're going to jump onto it and get quickly out of there before you shred this raccoon to bits. Turn him into roadkill in Canada. Oh crap. So you want to crawl underneath all of these blades, which is just an amazing type of game design right here. Look at this. You don't scare me! 
And here we got a guard snoozing away. You disappoint. You disappoint. Where does, where's that moose head that's gonna clearly fool these mooses and they can't even smell their own kind? I mean... Where's it at? Is it in there? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Damn you, camera! I'm gonna crawl right next to you. I'm gonna touch your foot. I am going to touch your foot. Are you kidding me? My... My... Oh, my foot was in the spotlight. Oh my god. Okay, I put this douchebag to sleep. Let's grab this. Murray, heads up. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mur... The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? Love that accent. <laughs> anyway. That RC combat drone takes some skill to control. Steer with the left analog stick and hold down the X button for gas. After you collect the fallen ammo, press the square button to fire its turret. Here's a pro tip. You can only aim the turret while you're stopped. Oh, wow. Who are you trying to hit, buddy? You got a flamethrower, that's not fair. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting smashed. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, get away from me! Damn you! Aww. He's cheating! This is an RC combat club, not not a place for cheaters. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. I'm not going to push him because he might actually come back and kill me. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not. You know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. I don't know if you guys saw his face or not, but that guy was like dumbstruck. He's like, oh, you don't want the money? Only now I can see. What's going on here? Ah! What do you got? What do you got? That's right. You got nothing. And these bear traps are gonna easily destroy Murray, so let's get the hell out of here and get Sly. Because Sly is easily the one you want. So you, if you go this way, an eagle's gonna attack you every time. So anytime you're coming here, even if you're grabbing loot, go around the tree and just jump to the door. That's the fastest way and probably the most safe way and avo from avoiding that eagle. So we got... Bear cave bugging or laser redirection? I think we're gonna go with bear cave, bu bear cave uh, bugging because that one is more, I guess, interesting to say, so to speak. And uh, yeah, I think that's the one we're gonna go to. Where's this cave? Where the cave at? Where the cave at? Where the cave? It's up here. Okay. Oh man, the music in this area reminds me so much of Spyro. I'm telling you, Spyro. I don't know if they ripped off you, but that game was so good. Actually, still good to this day. I was playing on my PSP. I play like almost every other month. The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. Into the bear cave. Crawl. Here we go. I don't know if this is a good idea, man. Bentley, what are you doing? I'm sorry I picked on you. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. 
Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. You best be hibernating, and Bentley, you better just make sure I don't fail right here. So there's the radio transmitter. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a tooth and I just plucked it because I turned into a dentist or what. And I can't swing that way. That's great. So you have to grab it from them when they're yawning, but make sure you watch the size. If you even touch it, you're done. You are dead. I mean, we have Bear Grylls out there that attacked me the other time, and even Murray couldn't even take him on, so... If Sly was to take on one of these guys hand on hand, I'm pretty sure we'd come out with a raccoon and a bloody corpse. Am I right? Anyway, uh, this ice up here is the climbable ice. The really cool ones. So you can just get over here. You won't make any noise that will attract the bear unless you step on something and open your mouth before I smack you. Thank you. I think he opened his eyes too and now I'm gonna just walk away like nothing happened. <laughs> there we go. Don't ask, don't tell. Okay, stop hibernating. You got a, a huge coconut head. I'm gonna name you Coconut Head. So there's our radio transmitter from the coconut head. And let's get over here. Whoa! whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. We're climbing on a slanted wall. This is really cool, but at the same time, not that cool for Sly. One more radio transmitter. Get the hell out of here. So. You can jump. Oh, there we go. That's the last one. Only now what? You could have that off. Hell yes. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. They tear Murray alive. They, he's already not wearing pants. Do you want it to get any worse than that? Actually, none of them wear pants. Oh god. Why? But then again, Sly has a like a coat of fur. Murray, wait, does Murray wear pants? I don't even know. <laughs> to form a receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bisson's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. <laughs> okay, we gotta pl place down all six of these. Let me just guess, look at this, look how easy this is. Set up one of these, knock them out, grab what you want. And that's the first time I've gotten a topaz. Let's get the hell out of here. Nothing happened here. Ooh -hoo! Look at that guy. That guy's gonna be renamed to Bad Luck Brian in that workforce. So let's get up here and plant this one down there. Whoa. Here we go. There's one tooth. That is a huge looking tooth. At least I hope it's a tooth. And there's the second one. I can already hear him. Wow, this guy is such a redneck. A redneck up in the north. This her tree gotta come down, or else they're gonna take care of all of us. We gotta head back this way because I see that there's one over there, so we're gonna have to climb back up the ice. And I'm knocked you guys to sleep because I hate you guys. Here we go. Come over here, come over here. Bah! That's what I thought. Don't mess with me. Out. Where is Sly from? They never even gave us his origins. I just remember him bouncing on his father's knee before that night. When, when um, Hagrid came and told him he was a wizard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, let's get over here and then plant this one here. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> okay, so we have two right next to each other. This is going to make this mission a lot more easy. And here's another guy. Let me knock you out real quick. <laughs> wow, it's like I smacked him in the back of the head with a cane. I wish I had that move. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, I'm not the ugly duckling. You don't have to take me out like that. 
Here's the final one over here. Nice work. Bam. Nice work. The array is up and running. Ow, I just like attacked my mic. Um, here's the other mission, so it's right here where it ended off, so let's just finish this, I guess. Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Wait, what? Oh, we have to get to... So this is just like the Murray mission that we just completed. We're gonna head around the obstacle course that's set up in these weird wooden facilities, I guess you could say. Which is very damn weird, and I don't want to splice my balls, come on. Come on, a raccoon... Raccoon only lives once, you know what I'm saying? YOLO! Ah. So the switch is probably there, let me just drop one of these things on these guys. Knocks them back out. Don't touch them because then they might wake up. I see the ladder over there, but let's just jack this guy real quick. That's why I thought. Whoa, beer bottles everywhere. Nice. That guy's sleeping like a baby. Oh, there's the vault. Yes. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be five, eight, three. Lightning yeah, spin. Folks, that's a nice one. Helios is a nice one. Thanks to Mega Man NG's little uh, tip. Let's change that. I want to see this. Woohoo! Attention, all you fellas working the sawmill. Make sure you keep a steady watch. The prowler's been spotted. We can't afford to have any of them. Oh, look at that. He's starting to tell them about me. He's getting a little famous over here. Oof. Oof. All right, you want to die? I hate how they have this auto lock on. There's no hesitation to not stop hitting you. Thank you. Just stay dead. Get up. Wait, the button. Oh, levitation. You've done it. The laser's been redirected out the window. Okay. So as much sense as it makes for them to have lasers, let's get out of here. Let's see where this laser's hit. Not over in like in an ice age area, I guess you could say. The laser might do some serious damage. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. Okay, so we're gonna make like a laser array now, which is kind of Ironic, but let me jack this guy because I need the money. Sweet! Large necklace. Totally worth it. Okay, place this down right now. Up there, huh? <laughs> Turn on Ninja. I wish he could, like, jump from wall to wall. That would be a really nice addition. Hey, yo! Sanzaro Games, put that in slide 4. I really hope they make the game epic. I really don't want it to get messed up. After Jack and Daxter, the Lost Frontier, I don't know what I can do anymore with developers not developing their own games. Okay, let's get up here. I almost missed that jump. And they're still following me? Damn, you guys need a, a race. Thank you. Let's get over here, jump on this.
Wait, it's going that way. Whoops. Okay, let's just jump on this and see what happens. Look at this view. Very nice view. Oh! So we bounced it through the entire thing. By luck. If this thing falls, then that's the entire array finished. Get over here, and then we're gonna just plant one right here. This looks like a good spot. Hey, wait a minute. Bentley, you touched my pouch. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna go look at your, your history on that computer. I'm gonna go look it up. Watch. I'm gonna show the world what you've been doing. Yeah, nasty. Anywho. <laughs> Probably in the weird section of that website again. <laughs> oh, God, it's attacking me. Come on, just plant the last one already. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. And plant this one. Did it kill him? It's splicing him in the balls. Oh, I could have tested out the move right there, but no. Now I have to go past Bear Grylls over here and ah, oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Chill. 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 We could have made this a bit easier instead of having to redirect it around the entire area. Look at that. Lasers everywhere. Okay, now we're back up here onto these spikes. So I guess I gotta redirect it. Like another six times, I'm guessing. Because that's all you need. Ah! Oh. Come on, Sly. Wait, I haven't ever seen how that, that cane travels to his mouth like that. Let me see that. Next time I swing to that, I'm gonna check it out. Let's get up here. The final one, I hope. Please be. Oh, -ho, yay! We're right there. Why didn't we do that the first time? Adler! Stand clear, Sly! Something else is coming out of the deep freeze! I've never seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that, he's back in the deep freeze. Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. After reading through the log chopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? I think you guys know where this is headed. If you guys enjoyed this episode, we're going to be doing all of that in the next one. And, uh, damn, we're still short. Please remember to leave a like and a favorite. It really means a lot to me. My name is Paul. Subscribe for more. And I'm out. Peace.